Hello everybody. Hi, it's me again. And it's time for another Maggie episode. Um, yeah. I'm going to try not to do so bad this time. I'm going to be playing on normal mode again. And don't worry, I'm going to get around to doing challenges eventually. There's just some conditions I have to work out first. So, I'm feeling confident that Maggie isn't going to be as much of a disaster as my last Isaac run was. You know, so far so good, I'm rushing through everything. I'll fight the boss first. The gurglings, and then I'll pick up the item. Even though I should have done it the other way around, and maybe got a stronger item to make this a little bit less slow, but whatever. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because the thing about Isaac, you can play through the game however you want. Just, you know, focus, dodge everything. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Concentrate, keep talking. Hopefully not talk about nothing as a sign of pure concentration. Because that happens sometimes. You just kind of ramble when you're actually focusing 100% on something. Because it's like I'm not even listening to whatever you're saying. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Well, that's whatever you're talking about for, yeah. There you go, that's one good ring done. Oh dear. This isn't good, I might be cornered. No, no, I'm not. There we go. Binding of Ice Act Masterclass. Speed and damage up. Nicely done. That is how to kill a boss without getting hit. See, I'm not bad when I, like, want to concentrate. Big floors like this are just a pain in the ass, but at least these guys aren't the strongest ever. You just have to not let yourself get surrounded. Which is easier said than done, but in a big room like this, you've got a lot of room to play with. Who's left? Oh. How'd you get up here? I didn't kill you up here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh yeah, there's one in every corner. Didn't give me any items, but... X-ray specs. This is actually pretty handy. Basically just gives you permanent access to all of the secret rooms. Let's see what's in the shop, because I can. Hmm. Life savings, again, useless. This key is nice, though. And there's actually a second locked room, which there will sometimes be. That was the shop. This will probably be a library. Yes. The sun and the hermit. The hermit will take you to the shop. The sun will heal and damage all enemies and give you the full map. The anarchist cookbook, we know what it does. It gives you all the bombs. I'm not going to... I can pick it up. I can do this. I can pick it up and it'll go into my item bank, even though I think I've already got it. I don't really know what the point in picking up an item and putting it back down is. I know, I think it just kind of, you know, replenishes or registers it in your game. And now we go through this super secret room. More pills. Tears up. Range up. Range up. Tears up. Speed down. But I did just get that um, medicine that gave me a speed up. So really, I've kind of broken even in that floor. Well, break broken even, are you serious? I've done a hell of a lot better than break even. So that's what I call a good first floor. Even though it's a cellar, I'm still not doing too bad. Actually. I'm trying to show you the benefit of a secret room. Or a sacrifice room. But I may just want to get into this arena. Hmm. I need some keys. I'll use the sun card. Kill all these poops. Give me yourself a full map. Fully heal me. You know, all the good stuff. I need keys though, because that's the important thing. Even if I get one, that might give me another one. These guys are little gishes. They're another old, old um, Ed McMillan game. Gish. That they feature in. Hmm. Which way should I go to if I want to find the keys? Actually, I probably shouldn't have gone this way, because this way takes me towards the boss room as well. Well, at least I have a shortcut halfway across the map. Here's a key. And a chest with more monies. So I could also go into the shop, but I think I'm much more interested in the item room. He's like, that's a tougher room. 
to dodge those guys in because there's also spiders. Well, I can handle them now. Another bomb. <sighs> That's poop. Probably one of the worst space barriers in the game. Even if you have the petrified poop that increases your likelihood of finding coins and hearts in poop, it's still a terrible item. Lots of red hearts. I need keys. I need keys to get into the secret room, or to the arena. And I need keys to get into the shop and spend all my lovely money. But I'm going to have to see what I get from the boss. Ooh. Pin. Don't know if I've fought pin on this yet. Not outside of the boss room. It's not too bad. It was easier in the original game though, but it's still not too bad in this one. This is another enemy that you kind of have to wait for. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he gets up and he's easy to kill. Shot speed and damage up, I'll take. Three devil deals. Hmm. I don't think I'll take Guppy's tail because I have no keys and I know for a fact I'm not going to get many keys, so lock chest is a complete waste. I do like Gimpy though. I got no more keys though, so there's nothing more I can do, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, that's it. I know I could have kept on going over the sacrifice room, but it wasn't worth it. So, secret room right off the bat. Three coins. And I found the item room. Now I just need to find um, everything else. Keys and such. Oh yeah, but at least I'm doing a respectable amount of damage to these enemies now. Yay, a key! You see, this is a time I wish I kind of had kept the poop, because I'd be able to poop here and then put a bomb here and bridge the gap. So poop does have its uses. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said it was the worst item ever. The game heard me and I was just like, oh, I bet you wish you had poop now. Oh, okay. Well, screw you, game. I got keys anyway. The game is going to fuck me over now, though. Book of Revelations actually isn't that bad. You use it, you get a soul heart. Happy days. I don't want to hold on to it, though. Because if you're holding it, there's an increased chance of getting one of the, of getting one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. And all they give you is balls of meat and balls of bandages. And maybe everyone's gonna, maybe someone will be like, oh, but they're good items. And I'm just like, yeah, they're okay. If you get close enough, they do a lot of damage, but, you know, otherwise I'm not too pushed. Maybe if I kind of go down on red hearts before the end of this floor, I'll go back and pick it up. But for now, I'm kind of okay. Sorry, my head's getting itchy and warm from having this thing on my head. I, was, I can always feel like a weird indent if I'm wearing my headset long enough. Which is kind of worrying really when you think about it. Oh, what a disappointing curse room. Mm. Mushrooms. Lockdown. Well, at least I'm still rolling off my um, two lock ups. Or to my two um, range and tears ups or whatever the hell they were. And nothing from those. Oh no, that would be a good lot of mushrooms to explode. Still not getting anything here. Ow. Well, there goes my chances of getting a devil deal. Ow. That also goes my chances of getting a devil deal. Three pills. Look down. Speed down. Pretty fly. I shouldn't have picked that up right away. I knew it as soon as I was walking towards it, but I couldn't react fast enough. I'll use my yum heart though. But now I have to not get hit when I fight in the boss. Although I say that, I haven't been getting hit when I've been fighting any of these bosses. 
And maybe it's just if you use the Book of Revelations at all in a floor that, you, that you're definitely going to get a headless horseman. Or that you're going to get one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, sorry. Because I just used the book and I still got this guy, so maybe that's how it works. Oop. Jesus, he doesn't usually spit them out that quickly. Yeah, once we get rid of these worms it'll be easier because he won't spawn the worms when he's lost his head. There we go. Now just take him out. And I got a cube of meat. In that case, maybe I should hold on to the other book. It's all the way back there, though. I'm not bothered. I'm going to take another drink. Okay, I need more keys, as usual. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you'll get a game and you'll get a lot of... You know, a particular item. You know, we're like, oh Jesus, I've got so many bombs and keys, I don't know what to do with them. But I much prefer those kind of games as to when you're getting a complete drought. I mean, I just got 99 bombs. That's all that item does, nothing else. It doesn't make your bombs stronger or anything, it just gives you 99 of them. But, uh, yeah, so that's handy. But, doesn't make me stronger as such. Because we all know me and I don't use bombs as weapons. Maybe I should. Maybe I'd be better at this game if I did. But I don't. Don't like to. So get that bat. Oh, he hit me anyway. So again, there goes my devil deal. I didn't expect him to fly at me that close. Even though I know that that's what bats do, but shut up. Yeah, I told you to shut up. Sorry, I shouldn't be antagonizing the audience. And um, whoa! Paralysis! And... Bad things! Oh, balls of steel. That's a nice pill. Thank you, game. I'm sorry I misjudged you. Sorry, I'm talking to the game now more than I'm talking to you guys. Mm, justice! Yay! Items. I know we kind of get, could have gotten into that big room and I would have found something great, but probably not. Oop. I already got the item room, though. Even though I can't remember what was in there, so it probably wasn't that important. Oh yeah, I got the bombs in there, sorry. My short-term memory apparently isn't great. Take all these guys out. I mean, these rooms aren't hard, they're just kind of annoying because you have to go in the corner and they'll just run away. So you're chasing guys around on right angles. Oh fuck. Yeah, these guys are worse. Although my cube of meat actually saved my life there, so they're not all that bad. Oh jeez. The only time I'll ever really use bombs as weapons though, or if I get like the homing sh uh, homing bombs or something. Or even the blast damage is a bit better. Wheel of Fortune. I want to get an interesting seed from this. You know, sometimes the um, machine will give you an interesting seed that you can use. But, I've never gotten one. I got one once, and it was like, the same format, you know, it was the four letters by four letters. But, it didn't actually do anything. I was like, well, what the hell is the point in that? And, uh, I think the fortune teller is a little bit more profitable than the slot machines. Oh, crystal ball. This is good. I'm gonna hold on to this. Even though the yum heart is healing, but I've actually, I've actually only used it once in this playthrough. These rooms are kind of annoying because you basically have to go up and down because it's too risky to go closer to where they might be. To the left. Look at the shooting gallery though, it's not too hard. My range is good enough. Oh, and one more. And they're all dead. And I heard the secret room opening down here. And a black hat. The reason I'm using my crystal ball yet is because I'm going to save it for the next floor because I'm almost at the end of this one. And here we go. Goody. I don't know if I found any cards in that last room I should have kept. As opposed to picking up the emperor card. Oh yeah, the other one was a tower, which to be honest would probably still more done more damage. Oops. Why did I just walk right into her? So what the hell is wrong with Mary? I really don't understand. Maybe I need some of those special gaming glasses. You know, like... 
ones up here where we're gaming. Oh, I forgot I can use the cube of meat to like just cut through like a buzzsaw. Whoa, there's a fly there. Safety pin, evil range and shot, shot, shot speed. Shot ski. Blub, blub, blub. What kind of time am I looking at? I'm probably still too late for the boss rush. 12 minutes, oh, that's not too bad. Strength card, here we go. So first things first, I wanna go right. Oh, give me a second. All right, let's just check in if this is actually still recording. I hope my eyes don't look completely just, you know, wrecked as well. I probably shouldn't be rubbing so much. That's not really helping it. <laughs> also, I'm roasting. I'm wearing totally the wrong pants to be um, playing this game in. Ooh. Because my laptop's on my lap and when I'm playing games and recording and everything it's using up a fair bit of processing power and it gets really hot and these pants just kind of like pick up heat like a magnet. Or like, you know, insulation or something. I'll take out these flies because these are just annoying. You can't kill them until you break the poop. Oop. And until then they're just a pain in the ass ob obstacle. Okay. The prayer card. Basically, you use the prayer card and you get an eternal heart. That's it. If I find something like a 48 hour energy or something to do with batteries and I can kind of spam them, then I should get a few health up. But otherwise, it's not worth it a whole lot. Now that I've got all the bombs in the world, I'm gonna blow these up and see what I can get. What is this card? Strength? Oh, yeah, the Empress is basically a stronger version of strength. So I'll take that instead. And I need yet another locked chest to get into that arena. So I'll have to find a key for it. At least I've already got the key from the item room. Or whatever, whatever you know. You know what I meant to say. Oh jeez. Get your big poops out and take out the littler poop. And then take out the littlest poops. Yay, more bombs. If I had a bombs or key pill, I'd be happy. You know, maybe that seems a little bit wasteful and I, pr I should use bombs more often. But I don't need bombs for secret rooms. And I don't use bombs for anything else. What's in here? Some flies. Thank you, game. You're very kind. Now I'll head on down this way, I suppose. Maybe that is the best thing ever up at the top, but I sincerely doubt it. For the sake of going through two floors, maybe it's worth it. Actually, my OCD is probably going to kick in if I don't do it as well. Um, this is an easy room, so it's not too bad. And what's in here? A little bit of an inconvenient room more than anything else. Those disease guys go bleh, and they shoot their little choppy, chompy worms at me. Yep. They got little boomerang worms. Oh yeah, I can't get up there because those bar places won't actually do anything for me. Now, here's a battery. So I'm going to go back and then go forward and then do this. Go over here and then go all the way back. And pick up a thing, a battery thing. Sorry, I'm scratching myself, I'm itchy. And go up here and pick up the battery and use it again and give myself an extra heart. So batteries are very effective for this thing if you need the extra hearts. Also, I don't know if I was talking about it, but I started playing the original Binding of Isaac again. Because I've... I've, I've probably said this before, but I've never played the Binding of Isaac on its own without the Wrath of Lamb expansion, so I found, I just figured out how to get the, I went on the internet and basically found out how to play the original game without the expansion. And it's so different, because like, I mean, even though, like, you know, obviously it's totally different, but it even felt different to when it had Wrath of the Lamb, I'd know, it just felt a lot more kind of unfinished or something, like there was a lot of kind of, you know, weird, like, touches in it and maybe they're always there and I just didn't notice them as, notice them as much now that I've gone back playing this but I know everything has felt like a bit strange I should probably be using this actually also um what a fucking room huh 
These mask invention rooms are literally the worst. Oh well, at least I use my black heart to its best ability. Still got no keys though. Kill this guy, kill all these guys. There we go. Things are slightly working out again. Greed. I mean, I've got a good feeling that the shop will probably also be a greed fight. So all of this money isn't going to go anywhere for me. Because this is, you usually find greed around these floors. Oh, huh. I'm sorry, I put my hands up, I was wrong. I didn't get greed. I didn't get greedy. Take this heart, take this key, donate the rest of the money to charity. Wow, I actually only have 109 coins in here. I thought I had more than that. Oops. Anyway, how am I looking now? Good enough damage. Shot speed could be better. Uh, well. These guys are the worst because they chase you and oh my god, one of them just disappeared. Oh sorry, yeah, the champion belt I just picked up. I don't know if I mentioned that before. It increases your chances of finding champion enemies, but it makes you stronger. Oh jeez, what the hell is going on with that guy? Ah, drop his collar again. Who knows, maybe it'll save my life twice in a row. And now, ow, ow, oh Jesus, I hate those things, especially when you're actually trying to fight an enemy. Anyway, let's see what's in this secret room. Red chest, and take me to Krampus. Excuse me. I don't know if it'll be better or worse to get Krampus's head versus the lump of coal though. I mean Krampus's head obviously, you know, it's a space barrier that makes it super strong. The lump of coal increases your damage the further away you are. I mean like you can see your tears get slightly bigger when you get for when they get further away from you. Hmm. Takes a long time to recharge, but it actually takes just as long as the last thing did, so I think I'll still take it. Uh there's a tinted rock over here, but locked chest. How am I gonna get around to this though? Two troll bombs! Oh my god, thank you so much, game. You are like my best friend. That's the first time I've ever gotten two troll bombs in a fucking locked chest. And Mask of Infamy again, but luckily this time I have Krampus' head. So I'm gonna save the Mask of Infamy. I'm gonna save the head for when I'm just fighting the mask and not the heart. Because at that stage he'll have barely any life left anyway, so I should be able to kill him in one. And I can't believe that hit me. There we go. Okay, I took some hits there, but it's still not half as bad of a payoff. And even though we got the double deal, I already got the double deal. <sighs> Jeez, this game is so much tougher when you're not overpowered. I can't remember the last time I've actually got any proper two effects. And now I don't know where I'm going. Oh yeah, so I couldn't remember what I got from that last fight. I got the wire coat hanger. That's pretty good. Go through here. The shovel. I could use this to skip, ho skip, skip on a little bit. We need to go deeper. You use it. And it creates a passage down to the next floor. For free. And you can use it to just keep on going down and down and down. So to be honest, if I don't fight, I mean, the one thing I don't like about that though is that, you know, you miss out on the boss item. So it doesn't really, f it doesn't really feel like it pays off. Unless you really just want to skip ahead to the end. You know, like if you're close to unlocking, you know, like one of the no damage achievements or whatever. And you don't want to risk it. Then you can do it that way. Not a big fan of these things. Unless I have flying or can walk on creep. Although if I could walk on creep I probably would still forget about it anyway. And just still try and avoid it. Take out the fire because otherwise I'll try and dodge into it.
sorry I didn't mean to get quiet there. I was just trying to concentrate. Oh, tinted rock. Oh, lock chest. Yay, more troll bombs. Nope, oh, actual stuff. Actual goodies this time. And that. Actually, you know what? This guy's gonna give me a battery. And then, come on, game. Where's my item room? Tears down. There we go. At least I still have a positive tears from um, the first two pills I got. So I'm not down yet completely. Well, obviously I'm still down, but not from the basic. From the standard one. It just hasn't nullified the pills, is what I'm trying to say. But you already knew that. Oh. I don't even need to pick up that bomb. Also, a trick is to know what champions are fighting and what they'll give you. So you can adjust your play accordingly. So for yellows, basically you know that unless you want the battery for something else, you'll get a free space bar use. Hmm. Let's buy both of these and donate even more money. It must take so long to actually put 99 coins into it. Unless you just literally don't buy anything. Which I suppose is also possible. And I don't want to cherry it actually, the Empress is better. Here is your item room. And the item room. I'm really holding out hope for this one. Come on. Loki's horns, cross tiers. My luck is pretty low because the higher your luck, the higher chance of that happening. So when your luck reaches a certain point, that'll happen every time. Which for certain setups, maybe not for me with my standard tiers, but when you get stronger tiers and bigger tiers, then it really pays off. And then you'll be able to hit enemies everywhere. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I walked into the boss room there. But now I'm fighting mine. Which will be so much easier when I have the cube of meat. And if I stand in the middle, I'll just be able to shoot crosses out. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Oh well, I still killed her easily. I've only got one copy item, so that's a complete waste. The pentagram is good. And Judas's shadow is the item that we unlocked when we um, beat the boss rush with Judas. Which I learned that... You'll get the champion boss rush if you kill a champion mom. Anyway. Yeah, Judas's shadow. That gives you an extra life. And when you respawn, you respawn as Judas's shadow. But I don't want it. Because I want to remain as Maggie. To get whatever progress I made. I forget that I only kill mom's heart as Maggie. And I didn't get to go any deeper. I think that's what happened, yeah. So if I can get deeper, then it'll still be counted as a new thing for this file, and I don't unlock something new. Ow. Pretty fly. I think you can only have three things orbiting you. To the best of my knowledge. Oh wow, there's a big person in there. Sometimes then, yeah, even if you have low luck, it seems to it seems like that the longer you have an ability, that the more frequently it happens. But maybe that I'm wrong, but that's what it feels like sometimes. I forgot to use the Empress. Oh well, I'll remember next time. Oh jeez. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I can kill these guys quickly, and as long as I keep out of the way, nothing to worry about. Red chest! Containing... Devil Deal! Containing the Whore of Babylon. But, I've got enough red hearts for that to never happen. I say hopefully. Oh, oh that was a yellow enemy. I just didn't realize it. Another pretty fly. But I only have two pretty flies and that's the most I can have, I think. 
Come on, yellow enemy. Ooh, jeez. I forgot I couldn't just walk past that. I think that might be an exploding enemy, so I shouldn't. Yep, be too close to him. This pill, paralysis, which is bad, but I'll use it anyway. There's no enemies near me, so they won't hit me. And this is the last one. No, it's not. This is the last one. But you gotta be careful, because they're the guys with the uh, splits. Because they got like a hole in their back. And yet I was still standing right in front of it and I almost got hit. Which is a uh, stupid. Whoop. Oh wow, how did I dodge that? Anyway. And then there's this little white one here that's gonna try and spawn spiders, but it actually has no room. And it's gonna push right for the boss room to be honest. Teratoma! Now this is one to use the thing the head on. Like this. And just cut them all out. And I get squeezy for even more tear speed. And even more soul hearts. And what's in the devil deal? Oh sorry, yeah. I forgot I already, I already went in there. Whoops. Um, you see, this is more acceptable. Also, sorry if like me drinking is too loud, because I can always hear it when I listen, to, when I watch back the videos, and I see myself drinking, and it's like, yeah, I can totally hear that. That might be one of the red enemies that turns into mush when I kill it. Oh no, it's not. This is one of the ones with extra health. I think it drops a heart. Polyciferolifus. Oh. You just have to know where he's going. It, the best thing to do is stay close when he goes underground, because otherwise he could be anywhere. Oh, lost. Although she's easy. Just kite her along slowly behind you. If you run too fast, she'll run faster. That's the problem. Now, is there any tinted rocks in here? I should always be trying to keep an eye out for these. Or I'll just blow them all up anyway, because I can. And who knows, I might drop something good for me anyway. Nope. No such luck. Also, I thought I had the glasses. Oh, I do, yeah. How did I miss that? Blow these guys up. Might get some spiders out of them. Oh, money. Maybe if I assume I'm going to get spiders, and that's when all the monies will come out. Oop. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's one of them is exploding one. So that somehow I missed. I was thrown in the middle. Ow. And he went right for me. But I'm still perfectly confident. Oh yeah, secret room and boss. And here we go. An eternal heart. And mom's heart fight. Woo, fight, 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 fight. Take all this on. I think I'm gonna save my Empress card now because I managed to save it this long. I'll save it till the very end. Mm, go! Really keep on pushing in. Go, 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 go. Ignore everything else. Just kill the heart. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about her last ditch attempt to laser me. Oh, how did I hit that? And the end. Well, it's not the end. It's just the end of her. Now, mom isn't going to hurt me anymore. Unless there are some of those mom's hearts that pop down from the ceiling. But otherwise, mom isn't going to hurt me anymore. Time is it. That's six. Also, sorry, I have a tissue here. My nose is all sniffly. Oh, I've unlocked this experimental treatment. I don't like it. It's another one of the injection items, but I really don't like it. It kind of mixes around your stats and stuff. It's a little bit crazy. It's hard to know if anything ever actually goes up, but for the most part, it doesn't. Boop, 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 boop. Nah, I'm kind of giving up on finding good item rooms, or good curse rooms. Sorry, I just get all the kinds of rooms mixed up. Okay, that was an advantage of the Loki's tail, or Loki's horns, that it actually crossed them all over. Oh jeez, these guys are totally going to break up with their chains, because I'm taking way too long to kill them. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, that was okay. I thought it was going to break out. Oh god, I'm finding all dead ends. 
Yeah, there's no way of avoiding these guys. They just come right for you. I do this motion a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot at least I'll be able to take shortcuts with all these secret rooms. Like, I should probably go right, but I'm gonna go down. I'll do this, and do this. Everything will work out for the best. Well, maybe not completely for the best. Invisible man. Oh fuck, this room again. I'll go around this way. Yeah, I think getting hit by him probably still wasn't as bad as getting hit by that fuck, fuck ton of lasers. I thought he was corner this guy. And corner these guys. Even though cornering these guys isn't really an option when they come for me. I didn't want to pick that up right away. But I kind of accidentally did. I still can't find any tinted rocks. I'm very disappointed about that. One zero two, one of the worst bosses. So I'm just going to start bombing some doors open because I really don't want to fight them and hope I don't have to come back past them. Ah, so close. There we go. Surely I'm not going to have to go back and fight Monster or two now. This feels like it's the right direction to go in. I should take out all these guys. Let's skip past here. Oh, I got hit. There we go. Sorry if I get quiet during all these rooms, but it's really intense and I'm trying to not die at all. Which is easier said than done. At least I'm fully healed. So much. Crack out my Empress card. Give myself an extra bit of speed and damage. Now when should I use use Krampus's head? Not for these guys, these are weak. Not necessarily weak, but you know what I mean. Out. It's always hard to know which one of them is less health. And you kinda of split between the two of them. And how did I get such a full charge already? Oh, sorry, I'm so stupid. I thought I would ever use Krampus's head. But I didn't, I'm just stupid. I thought this guy had other attacks. I thought he shoots his lasers to the side as well. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe there's like a different form of Satan that you get later. But I totally thought he had a different laser attack where he uses both of his hands. So if I do one foot here and one foot here. Nope, totally wrong, but that kind of worked too. And I can uh, win the game again. I've redeemed myself by winning the game. And we've already seen this cutscene. And I've unlocked the Guardian Angel, which I've never seen before. And I've killed Satan enough times to, to uh, kill Satan enough times, and I've unlocked the negative. So the negative is fully done, and I've got one power to the Polaroid. So I'm going to try and work on that next. And I'll show you the ne last ending I got for experimental treatment. Well, I eat an M&M. &M. No. Hmm. And it makes you look all doofy. Because you just took in a syringe that you didn't know what it did. So yeah, my death is now four. Which isn't great. Well, though, I mean, considering I've killed mom seven times and I've got four deaths, that's actually pretty good. And while wow, my laptop is getting really hot, I should probably stop. <laughs> anyway, my next run, I've done Isaac, I've done Magdalene, my next one will be Kane. And because I've already killed, Ka killed Satan as Kane, I'm going to try and push for as many angel rooms as possible. And see where I go from there. But for now, I'm going to be finished here. I hope all you guys join me next time. And... Bye for now.